welcome to Psych 3020. I'm Mark and I'm going to be your lecturer for this course. Thanks very much for signing up for it. So all we're going to do in this video is to go through a few of the things just to make sure that you know exactly what you're supposed to be doing. So first thing to do, uh, I think virtually everyone would have done this already, but make sure that you've signed up for a tutorial on my Signet. So any problems, please email uh, Jenny English who is our course administrator. Uh, tutorials are going to occur every teaching week starting in uh, week number two. So check my sign it to confirm which tutorial you end up in. Uh, so attendance for all lectures and tutorials is compulsory. Uh, I there will be recording lectures using Echo 360. Okay, though of course this is basically just a revision aid rather than a substitute to actually turning up to the lecture. Check out our Blackboard website regularly. That will contain access to all of the course announcements, information and materials you need. So in week one, make sure you go to that Blackboard site, learning resources, click on week one, and there you'll find a full list of all the things that you need to do. One of the first things you need to know about is that in this course, we're gonna have 10 low stakes open book online quizzes to be completed outside of class time. So your scores from your best seven quizzes will account for 10% of your final course grade. Okay, so if you go to the uh, Psych3020 Blackboard website, uh, click on assessments, then click on low stakes online quizzes for a full briefing and access to the quizzes. So there is a practice quiz you can have a go at this week, week one, in order to check that your setup works. Second assessment is uh, an assignment, assignment one. Uh, this is a research proposal worth 25% of the final course grade. So uh, the briefing for this, uh, together with a video, that's all available right now from week one. And so in week one, please have a look at that briefing video, uh, have a read of the assignment briefings, and also you'll find two example assignments uh, that uh, you ought to have a, a read through as well. Try and do all of that before you get to your first tutorial in week two, because in that first tutorial, uh, we've created an assignment one priming activity that will help you uh, get you a kickstart in that uh, assignment. And the more you understand about the assignment up front, the more sense that activity will make. All right, the second assignment that's gonna come later in semester, that's a project uh, report that's worth 25% of the final course grade. So you'll get the assignment two briefing uh, later in semester with uh, full details and that'll, uh, the briefing for that and all the things you need to do will actually take place in later tutorials. So make sure you don't miss them. And the fourth and final bit of assessment is the final examination. It's all multi-choice, but I'm reliably told that it's really hard. Okay, so in fact, a lot of the things that you're gonna be doing in your tutorials uh, and also including those low stakes online quizzes are essentially preparation for the examination. They are our way of helping you to revise for that examination and hopefully get the best score that you can. There's a textbook for this course, which is Cohen and Swerdick 2013. Uh, so people always ask me whether you need to buy this up front. So the answer to that is that this is very strictly an optional buy. So I'd actually hold off for the moment and only buy it if you're really struggling with the course content and you don't understand what I'm going on about in our lectures. So that's it for this briefing. Hope you enjoy the course and I shall see you in the lectures.